So this is the last of my level two proofs. All right, I'm talking about something that just doesn't fall out quickly. I'm taking a look at that guy. There's only one way I'm going to be able to prove these identities. It's starting on one side and showing the other. Which side do I start with? The one that looks more complicated. Here it appears to be this one. Okay, I'm not lazy. I'm going to write it down. That's the left hand side. On the left hand side, see? Ooh, I'm going to write this down. That's the cosine of theta times the secant theta minus the cosine of theta. And then these things distribute algebraically. Yeah, just like you're used to from back in the day. Hmm. Uh huh. This is the cosine theta secant theta minus the cosine theta squared because it's cosine times cosine cosine squared yeah all right so now we think we're stuck so what do we do transform into sines and cosines if you ever get stuck that's one way to start it off so the cosine of theta what's the secant oh, one over the cosine of theta I'm no longer stuck can you see where this is going? Cosine squared theta. Here I rewrote my notation in a less cumbersome, more lazy, lackadaisically way. Cosine, oh, uh, oh, uh, is that zero? No, that's one minus the cosine squared theta. So this is the same as that, which is the same as this, which is the same as that. But what's one minus the cosine squared? We've seen that a few times now. That's the sine squared theta. Is that the right hand side? Sure is. You're done. You should definitely try a few.